Yeah, it's, a, it's extra motivation, but I think it's, um, you know, it's a, something that I'll, you know, cherish and, you know, remember forever, but um, it's not something that's going to change, um, you know, my goals. Um, my goals have still been the same, and, you know, it's just extra motivation for me to, to reach them for sure. What are your plans for the summer, and what kind of parts of your game do you want to play more? Just to work my butt off um, day in and day out. Um, we come back um, better than um, I can imagine next year. And, um, you know, there's a lot of areas in my game that I can work on. Um, so I'll leave that up to myself to get better at those areas this summer. You spent a lot of time working on the jump shot. Assuming that's something, is there other elements beyond yeah. that? Yeah, jump shot. Uh, just working on right hand uh, finishes. Um, I watch a lot of film, um, you know, to see why things happen, um, why things work, why they didn't work. So, how much does just versatility in general play into what you want to work on and how you want to grow as a player? It's tremendous. Um, it's something that um, it's a big part of my game big reason why I have an advantage at my position. So um, I just kind of have to hone in on those skills and and get better at it. What, what in particular do you think you're looking to hone in on? I just got to learn the game. I think a lot of that comes with watching film. Um, you know, there's things that I can get better at, but I got to know when, you know, how to use it, how to take advantage of, you know, certain situations. And just got to get better at that. Um, I'm not sure. Not sure. Julius, what did Kobe say to, to you young guys last night? What, what did you take from his message? Um, just everything else comes second. Um, just to dedicate ourselves to this. Um, yeah, pretty much. One thing he said that he passed along was that you guys needed to do it together. Not mm -hmm. to worry about individuals so much, but like to really stay in touch over the summer and, and do things together. Uh, how do you think you guys might follow that? I think that we, after this year, we kind of see um, that we have to do it together. You know, we can't be 30th in field goal percentage, 30th in assists, and expect to win games, expect to be a, a true playoff uh, competition team. So um, we got we to gotta do it. We got to do it together. I think we got to do it together. Um, I don't think talent uh, around here and on this team is an issue. Uh, it's just about uh, finding the chemistry and um, um, playing for each other, not playing for ourselves. Um, I honestly don't don't find myself uh, trying to be selfish um, or worried about myself on the court because I know from my I've grown up just you know being a winner and, and winning is what and what winning to me is what matters so um, I don't find myself if it does if it if it does come off that way it's because I'm trying so hard to um, you know win or make the right player or whatever that you know I, it kind of looks off comes off as if I'm being selfish but I'm not I'm just you know used to you know being a guy and you know, when things get rough, you know, you kind of do it yourself and feel like we've all been in that position on this team. So we got to figure out how to, you know, play for each other and kind of try, try to change our way of thinking, you know, learn how to scheme together. What do you think about just your process in the way and your other teammates went through just adapting those the commands and one from the guys and the style that comes with Yeah, we, 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 had to, we had to grow up. You know, this year was rough for us all, and, um, you know, we obviously didn't want it to go like this. We didn't think it would go like this at the beginning of the year, but we had to grow up, and, um, we, you know, we had to hold each other accountable, and that's something that we're still working on. And, um, you know, we had to leave it all out there every night. 
Uh, can't leave with any regrets. And I think that's what coach demands of us. Yeah, at the same token, like a few days ago, he was saying that he felt like he could have done a better job of just trying to know how to communicate with young guys and that kind of ball. How did you see that kind of play out? When we win 16, what, 17 games, I feel like we all think we could do a better job. I don't think anybody's walking around like they just walked on water around here. <laughs> so, I mean, I mean, I won more games in my college season and I played half the game. So nobody's walking around here like, you know, we did a great job. I feel like we all think we can do a better job. And I think that's the beauty in the, of it all that we know we can get so much better. And, you know, we know we have the pieces around here to get better. Um, we just got to figure it out. And a lot of that just takes effort and hard work. Phyllis, you've been around the league and played against all the bigs now. There were, like last night you played with Larry the 4-5 to close the game. Do you see the way the league's evolved? Like, do you think you guys could do that for a, a bulk of a game? Would you prefer to play with the bigger guys? How, how does the whole changing of the league impact what you think about it? Yeah, I mean, I think, I think we can do it. Um, it's just all about, um, like Kobe said, we got to scheme together and, and learn how to play with each other. But we just got to take, take advantage of, you know, other teams' weaknesses. You know, what works to our advantage, what doesn't. Um, and it's going to change on a night-to-night -night basis. It depends on the team you're playing. You might play against, you know, relatively, that Utah team is pretty long, you know, with Favors and, you know, Hood and uh, Gobert and, and those guys. So, you know, they're typically a, a big team. Um, but then you might play against a Golden State team that plays Draymond and Harrison at the four and five, where, I mean, you know, you kind of have to go smaller. So I think that's pretty cool um, for us because, you know, especially with me and Larry, we can, you know, guard multiple positions, uh, play multiple positions, and, and um, you know, we can vary from night to night. If Brandon Bassett said this year, like, your office is going to be there, he doesn't worry about that. Do you, do you look at a Draymond Green and think, you know, I, okay, I could guard a five or switch onto a four defensively? Like, do you think you can go into a, that type of an impact defender? Yeah, I, I think it's um individual challenge for defense is is, is nothing for me. Um, I love that challenge because I love competition. I think it's more of off the ball, not falling asleep. Um, talk to Kobe, just seeing things before it happens um, so you're not late on the rotation. I think that's the bigger picture thing for me as far as, you know, the details um, of things, just seeing it when, before it happens. Um, because individual challenge, I love that. You know, I love to take a challenge at garden, especially a guard on the perimeter one on one, because I know my speed and my my quickness and my feet, uh, along with my you know my strength and stuff like that, is an advantage at my position. So I love to take the challenge and you know guard you know quicker guards and stuff like that. But like I said, it's just uh, the off the ball things that I need to work on. Yeah, I think we got to go um, and look ourselves. I think, you know, we, we got to hold each other accountable, but we got to hold ourselves accountable. And I think when we look in the mirror, you know, after the season, we got to say that I do everything possibly I could, you know, to affect the game and, and, and win games. And I think if we hold ourselves accountable, we won't have to really worry about checking our teammates. Obviously, we're going to have to check our teammates from time to time. Coach is going to have to check us. But um, it's more about taking a challenge yourself to do everything right, leave everything out there on the court. No, I haven't really uh, just thought about it. Um, I haven't thought about it at all. You know, I've been focused on this season, this year. Um, so I'm sure in a couple of weeks I'll think about it or something. But right now, Summer League is probably the farthest thing from my mind. <laughs> did you always, about last night, before, before last night, did you ever feel like um, you missed out on kind of Kobe's 
greatness. Like you've never been part of like a 50, 60 point game. You've never been able to chase a playoff spot with him. Do you feel like you kind of came too late? No, I didn't miss out on anything, man. I, I was a fanatic like growing up, like crazy, 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 crazy. Um, like, like really studied the guy. So um, to see it last night, uh, it was pretty cool for me. Um, but, you know, I've, there's been games that I've been to in person where I've seen them do some, some pretty remarkable things, you know, when they played the Mavericks and stuff like that. So, um, but last night, for me, it was just more happy to see them go out the right way because it's like I've known the guy my whole life or something. Like, that's how much I, you know, you know, grew up being a fan of the guy. So, um, it was just cool for me. Did you ever think you were going to get to be a part of one of those games, though? It didn't surprise me. I, I felt last night he was going to do something crazy. I told him he had to take at least 40 field goal attempts for me. So, <laughs> Uh, he took 50. So. <laughs> and you know, I would have liked, he could have took 60. I wanted him to take 60. It didn't matter. Uh, I really wanted him to score 100 points, but, you know, he's probably a little bit tired. But, um, you know, last night was about him, and I'm just happy that he did what he, you know, wanted to do, and he went out his way, and he did it his way. And, um, you know, he's done, he's left a mark on this game that hasn't been left before, so I'm, I'm happy for him. You were, sorry, yeah, what, what was that experience like in terms of being a fan growing up and then actually having, going through a couple training camps with him about your preseason and, and kind of getting a look behind the curtain? It's pretty cool because, um, you know, from afar I watched him. Um, but I studied him so much, so it's kind of like, you know, he's a huge part of why I'm here, you know, today because um, it's like dude was my inspiration growing up. You know, I studied not only his footwork, but his, his just mentality, his killer instinct, and you can see it, um, you know, growing up watching him. Um, he was just different than anybody else out there on the court, and no matter who he's playing against. And, you know, to be able to be up and close, uh, you know, and personal and see it on an everyday basis, it was pretty cool for me. And I just tried to learn from it as much as I can and, you know, apply it to myself as much as I can and use it as, you know, motivation and inspiration. You were setting screens last night. I don't know if I've seen you set screens. Yeah, I never, I'll never set a screen for another guy like that a day in my life. <laughs> 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 that was, yeah. I mean, isn't that kind of what you, you were talking about how you need to play for each other? Yeah, and we, like Coach said himself, we gave, we got out of our own way. We got out of ourselves and, you know, realized it was bigger than us. And that's really what this whole thing about uh, about basketball is. It's bigger than us. You know, those championships up there are won by one guy. Um, they're not out there playing 105. So you know? those, those screens be set next year like that for guys like D'Angelo, Jordan? Is that, is that Honestly, that, it, it could, but I think that I was setting a lot of moving screens. <laughs> <laughs> but the refs were letting it go because they knew about the, well, I mean, they knew what kind of event it was last night. You ever watch uh, KG? In yeah, but he's watched, yeah, uh, but I don't think KG came in the league setting screens like that. I think as he established himself, he was setting screens like that. So, so when, down the road, when you're yeah, back, maybe when I'm a vet and I can get away with it, I'll probably do it. But for now, I just try to set the best screen I can possibly set. <laughs> I got some shoes, son, and I'll probably get you know sooner or later I get a jersey sign or something like that. What, what do you think? I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna let him enjoy retirement. You know, he probably last thing he wants to talk about now is basketball. You know, Twenty years, it's a lot. Uh, so you know, he's probably enjoying his family, enjoying retirement. You know, I know the guy, so he's probably still staying busy, um, being competitive at something. Um, but you know, when the time's right, or when I feel I need advice or need to talk to him about something, I'll talk to him. You said a couple weeks ago or maybe last week that you didn't really want to take much time off, you want to get back to the gym. What's what's the actual plan? Are you working out here? Are you going home? No, I'll be here. Um, and I'm sure after a couple of days I'll start going crazy, you know. I want to get back in the gym. Um, so I'll probably start slow, but, you know, as the offseason goes on, really ramp it up.
you know, you're going to be working with? Uh, I mean, we got our coaches here. Um, I'm sure I'll talk to my agent and figure some stuff out off the outside of the facility, but uh, I mean, it's just up to me. Uh, physically, so you have, the, you have the, the break last year that healed. I'm mm -hmm. sure that's good. You have the foot done as a kind of preventative. You physically felt good, made through everything healthy. And yeah, I feel amazing right now. Um, I really do. I wish we were still playing because going to the playoffs, I would feel really good. So, um, you know, I'm 21. I had a freak freak injury, but um, it's in the past, and I'm just ready to get back to work.